Hi everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan. Dina and I are here to have another great video with you. Welcome to Ellis Home and Garden. I'm so excited because, girl, today is December 1st. This is something that I look forward to all year because my clients have calmed down, my installs have calmed down, and we get to enjoy our Christmas season. The lights, the, the cocktails, uh, the decorating, Hallmark Channel, all of that stuff. So as you guys come in, welcome. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know that you're here, where you're watching from, and any questions you guys have throughout this demonstration, make sure you leave those down below as well. Hope you all had an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, I know Dean and I both did, and uh, she had to work and stuff, but we had a good Thanksgiving, a good turnout. I'm glad it's over, girl. And now we can focus on Christmas, and I can't believe today's the first, which means in 25 short days, it's all gonna be over with. But um, to make it even better today, it froze last night, it got 25 degrees here, which makes me more in the Christmas spirit until I got up freezing, of course, and my heat didn't work. So uh, we'll talk about that another day, but they're coming to fix that later. But I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, and today we're gonna be doing a live Christmas tree. So this is something that we did last year. We had a big response on it. You know, live trees are much different to decorate than artificial trees just because of the limbs and the branches. They're much more flimsy. But if you look at the White House photos, which are beautiful this year, if you look, you know, at certain trees and they are live, you can fill them full of product. You just have to go about it a little bit differently. So hopefully this video, guys, will be beneficial and helpful to you and you can use it to your advantage if you haven't already decorated your live Christmas tree for Christmas 2020. Okay, before I forget, everything you see here, along with so much more, guys, can be found at ellishumminggarden.com. Some of the materials that I use today might not be available on the website just because we have sold through a lot of our inventory, therefore we're kind of limited on what we have to work with, uh, which we're grateful for. But all of the Christmas stuff is 50% off, whether it's ribbon, picks, accessories, all the stuff online, Christmas related is 50% off. And I think we're still celebrating like Cyber Monday, even though girl is Tuesday. And so it's also an additional 20% off the entire site. So that means, you know, if you get this Santa, Okay, if you get this Santa here, guys, and it's 50% off, you get an additional 20% off of that also today only online, ellatumlingarden.com. Um, so all of that's going on. And then also, girl, what talk show you all this up here's on black out, okay. So we also have these little candles. They're circle -y. if you guys aren't familiar, Bird of Paradise is their number one seller. Um, but they have these little travel tins, which I was like, what in the heck is a travel tin? But these are on sale for $4. So listen, if you go to your hotel room, Girl stinks in there like pine salt or something, you know, and you want to freshen it up or say you're trying to be romantic, set the mood, you know. Then uh, you can buy these travel tins for four bucks. They're great for gift giving. Um, you can put them in your car. You don't have to, don't burn them in your car, okay? I'm mean, responsible for an explosion, but you can set one in your seat and just by being in the car with the lid open, it's going to make your car smell good. So these are great for the back of the toilet. Girl, you know, you have that aunt or uncle that blows it up. So, you know, you might need a travel tin. You can put on the back of there. Four dollars. There's a whole bunch of scents. There's like cream brulee, Hawaiian pineapple. Um, Bird of Paradise, this is an almond cream cake, which is my favorite. So four bucks on the website, 50% off of Christmas, 20% off additional. And if you spend over 75 bucks, you get free shipping. Lily, he wears shorts all year round. Oh, I know, it's, it's, you're probably thinking I'm crazy. It's under, it's below freezing here. And he's, yes. but it might have been because I've already had three people jump on top of me. Um, <laughs> I have a sweater in my car in case of emergencies. And I'll give you an example of an emergency. The other day I was doing a lady's house and she wanted me to put up her front door garland. It was super windy and cold. And I actually had to bring out that emergency sweater and put it on, but it's something about having this warm and I love a little breeze on my legs. So, you know, I always have shorts on. Plus, for after eating all that Thanksgiving food, there's no way in the world I can fit into those jeans unless they're elastic on the waist. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. This is about a six foot tall Fraser fir Christmas tree, I think. And uh, they have these here at Ellis, guys, I think they're Fraser fir. They have them here at Ellis in all different sizes from five foot here all the way until I think they're like 10 foot or so. But the quality is really great. The limbs lay perfectly. And the best part about a live tree, guys, is that they smell so good. They're so fragrant. So one thing that I do, and I told y'all before, I burn those pine candles or Fraser fir candles all over my house. And the number one compliment I get is that, ooh, bug. When you walk up into the house, guys, you can actually smell the Fraser fir on my porch. And here's a little secret. Don't tell nobody. I take those bath and body wallflowers and I plug them in the outside outlets. Okay, so when you walk onto the porch, it smells like my garland is fresh. And they say, oh my God, is your garland fresh? Of course it is, you know, nobody even knows. So I love the smell of the tree. Okay, so on a live tree, guys, what's I'm different? Allergic. Oh God, Dave is allergic. So what is uh, different about a live tree is that the branches are so flimsy. And uh, so you have to be careful with the amount of weight that you put on. So for example, 
If you used an artificial Christmas tree, you could take something larger like the Santa right here and you could nest that in here. But as you guys see when putting this on a live tree, you have to be more careful when you secure it. Rebecca just pinned the 20% off. Oh, y'all, she done pinned it, honey. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we need to lighten this baby up, okay? This is the green tree, of course, that I'm sure you guys have seen uh, live trees that are flocked. Like, you can go to the tree farm, or we don't do all that up in here. So, I found some flock picks that are so realistic that the branches look great, like fresh greenery, and we're going to incorporate those on this tree. So, let me grab a, a travel tin, honey. stems y'all. I have so many people go, oh my god, I want a flock tree, but I don't want to go out and spend 400 bucks on it. Girl, you don't have to. Go on down to Ellis, honey, and get these stems or picks like this because once you uh, fill your tree, your wreaths, your garlands with this particular pick, it's going to give you the appearance like it's flocked. And one thing you don't want to do, I'm sure we've all had this experience one time, don't get that spray flocking because girl, I sprayed something in the house one time. The whole house is covered in white. It looked like I blew up a flower bag. So what you want to do is take this right here, these are lightweight. This is for demo, so I'm leaving the trashy tag on, okay? And then you can just incorporate this on your branches. Look, look pretty, girl. Okay, we've got several of these, so we're just gonna run through and just add these through the branches all the way to the top, y'all. And on a live tree, you're probably not gonna be able to put the big explosion topper just because you don't have all of that wire that's on the artificial branches to hold all those stems in. So I'm gonna take these how pretty that is, y'all. I love it. You could also take a garland and weave that in as well. And he's only doing one side, so just be, make sure when you do it, you do the whole tree. Yes. You want it to be symmetric, guys, all the way around. Okay. So while I'm adding these in, I'm going to tell y'all a story. I think I forgot to tell y'all this. Did I tell y'all a story about when I went to Beaumont and so on and so forth? Mm -hmm. I already told that. Okay. Never mind, y'all. Okay. So we're going to continue putting these in. Look how pretty. And you can put as little or, you know, as many as you want. You just want it to be um, an even coverage all the way around. And you can kind of make that decision yourself. But we do have a lot to catch up on with Bachelorette and oh my God. Dancing okay. with Stars. I got to thank you. Okay, yeah. I forgot we hadn't been here for Thanksgiving. So what were your thoughts, guys, on the winner of Dancing with the Stars. It was a good one. Kristen. Caitlin. I was not thinking she was going to win. I actually didn't. After watching that whole last episode, I was so into Nelly. Like, he just, to me, took it home. He was so into his cell. He was comfortable. And his fans, honey, have taken him through, so I thought they were going to make him win. And I was actually excited for it. So I wasn't wanting Nelly or Neve to win. But I'm really happy with the, the final four couples that were there because they were all the most talented. So good. That's probably my car. I forgot to put parts. Look at the villain. Anyway, so what was your thoughts on the winner? You love her, so you want I to... like her. I don't think she should have won, though. I think that um, Neve should have won. I think Neve should have won, but I, li I liked either one of them. And I'm hoping, I'm sure you guys, some of you are from New York, you know, hoping that when Broadway becomes a thing again one day, that he will be able to get booked on a, a show because he's so good and he's so good. So I love that. Sorry, I had to take a moment of silence for Tyra. Anyway, in that outfit. So she's already talking about she's coming back next season. So y'all, we just have to get used to it. It's okay because it makes a good drinking game, you know, when she starts coming out in those outfits. And then the Bachelorette, Adina, I forgot what happened. It's been two weeks. So tell me. Did they come out last week? Mm hmm. What happened? Refresh me. It's been a sec. Yeah, it's been a while. Um... See, we want to talk about what happened. Y'all, I don't remember. And I watched it. I know I watched it. Oh, I know what it was. They did the obstacle course, ran around the, ran around the property, and did the stuff to show their love for her. Hey, girl. How are you? Good. I saw her. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're um, doing a video real quick. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I got questions for you. Okay. I'll call you just a little bit. <laughs> uh, is that the one you're talking about or did it the thing? I think that was the week before. But, yeah, we, we weren't here for that one. one week, y'all. Okay. So I put in a variety of Ben and Chasen. Uh, who was it? Was it Ben and Chasen getting in the arguments? No, it wasn't Ben. It was Ed. Ed. They both need to go. I think that the guys, if they're arguing like that, the child just needs to go home. What's your thoughts? Yeah, they don't need to go home. And Noah jumping in and 
Oh, that mustache. Okay, I can't remember enough to discuss it with y'all, but next week we're gonna be on our A game with Bachelor. Right? It's been two weeks because I wasn't here last week, guys, so we'll have to catch up for sure. Okay, let's talk about the stem right here. This is something that when you first see it on the shelf or over there in the thing, it doesn't look very pretty. It's, I mean, but once you put it in something, I saw it in an arrangement to read in a tree, and I was like, oh my god, this will be so pretty to add to a fresh tree. And one thing I try to do, guys, when working with fresh florals, whether it's a tree or a wreath, is you want to find materials that look natural like they would be fresh. So, this is like an ivy spray with some berries. So, in between where you put the flocking sprays, guys, you can incorporate this ivy in it. Look how pretty that is. And you can just fill this entire tree with the ivy and the berries. And so, what we're going to do eventually is we're going to take some red berries, guys, and that's going to help bring out the berries that are in here. Okay, so I'm just weaving these through. Make sure you fluff them, guys, as you kind of pull them apart and add them. How bad is Walmart? They were closed on Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Did they work that night, though? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, they were closed, so was Black Friday mess and awful? No, it wasn't bad at all. I bought... Uh, I usually don't shop for Black Friday stuff, but last year I got a Dyson stick vacuum. It was like 500 bucks, I got it for 150, so I thought that was a really good deal, but it died. Probably because all the dog hair. So I was really excited to get a new one this year. I've been waiting all year for a Black Friday special. They had one for 200, so $50 more, but I thought, okay, you know, I, girl, I completely forgot. And then when I get on there, it was sold out. <laughs> I was so upset, I've been crying for a day, but I did get a new TV. So can we talk? Listen, y'all, y'all know I was at Sylvan. Okay, I can't count. So, I was told that TVs are measured diagonally, okay? So, like, if you get a 55 inch, it's 55 from corner to corner. So, you know, I have, like, a brick inset on my fireplace where my TV's hanging now. And I don't know what size it is. We've had it forever. But I want a new TV that's a smart TV that has all the bells and whistles. And they were on sale at Best Buy for, like, a TV I got was $400 and it was supposed to be, like, 1000 It was 65 inch. So, Morgan and I had a little wine and we decided we we're going to measure. So, we measured the... The fireplace thing and we just knew it was gonna fit girl okay well I had Josh go pick up the TV yesterday and uh, I got home from work at like six o'clock walked in the house girl I thought I bought a trampoline I mean oh my god what is that I there was a box shawl huge I mean you could have put a bicycle in it so I took the TV out of the box and I started measuring I was like, oh Jesus please girl that <laughs> my thing across my fireplace is 56 inches and the TV is 57 so it's gonna hang over half an inch on each side. Is that trash or do you never think it'd be okay? Half an inch is not too bad. It should be okay. I'm a little nervous. I hadn't put it up there yet, but I had to go buy a new bracket and everything because that thing was huge. It's like Carmack Cinemas in the living room. Like all I need is a popcorn machine. I don't know, it's crazy. Okay, y'all, let's continue adding. So, look at that ivy in there. Isn't that pretty, y'all? We're just gonna keep adding this. We're not worrying about the top yet because of course we have a bow that we'll add up there in just a bit. So now that we have that in, let's go ahead and go through with some different berry sprays because I wanna make this super full. So this one's got some pine cones in it, some pomegranates, and it's got a little twig. So we're gonna, like I used to be a twig. Oh, I miss those days. So we're gonna push those in. Ooh, look at that, honey. We're gonna mix those in all throughout the tree. So did anyone, anybody else buy something special on Black Friday, leave a comment, whether it's a TV, Okay, or a vacuum cleaner or Christmas decoration. Bella's had a big sale here. Um, and they did yesterday too for Cyber, but that's on uh, Cyber Monday. I actually enjoyed not having the crowd of like going out. One thing I wanted to buy, I used to make fun of my mom so bad for this, is Tupperware. Like this girl, I give it away when people come over and I never get it back. And so I went to get something today and had one bowl, you know. So I need to get some more of that. Okay guys, I'm just filling in with the florals. If you guys just joined us, my name's Dylan with Design Squad. Dylan, me and Dina are here at Ellis Hillman Garden to teach you guys and show you how you can embellish a live Christmas tree. Now, and if you have animals or crazy kids or something, and you're worried about your tree getting hit, you know, not hit, but like brushed up against, you can take floral wire and wire your, your stems to the branches on your live tree for sure. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna step back with you guys and take a look. It's hard for me to see. And it's looking good, okay. So I'm gonna do my last layer of berries. Okay, just incorporate these in. And if you want to put lots on it, make sure you put the lots first. Oh my gosh, y'all, yes. I totally forgot about that. But yes, you have to right. put your lights on first. It's really hard to decorate your tree with lights, but put them on after you have all the decorations. D, it's just about freezing here. Maybe a little it's above. Wonderful, y'all. I don't ever really get cold though, because I'm not out in the, in the weather, but even if I am, I usually get hot for some reason, so I'm doing something. So now that I have all of those stems in, I want to put some ribbon in really quick, okay? So let me grab my ribbon. Something super popular this year is this fabulous buffalo plaid. Now, say you don't like this, you guys could, you know, use the technique I'm going to show you, but use different ribbon, of course, to your liking. But this is four inch, it's wired, and make sure you always use wired ribbon, but I love four inch, especially on something like this, because it's going to fill in holes and spaces. And always standing like a t-shirt. The most inexpensive way to fill in your tree, guys, is always going to be ribbon. So, this is 10 yards. You can get a lot out of 10 yards. So we're going to cut this into a strip. That's about 48 inches or so. And we're going to cut a few of those, okay? So I'm just going to drop this down to the ground and cut me a few strips. This method is much easier to kind of get this all the way through your tree without the toilet paper method. This, you know, I'll be honest, does anyone here wrap their tree? Oh my God, they gave me how I was thinking about it. You want to make sure you cut this in strips, that way you can put it all over the tree. Do you want to put the tree up? Hmm? Do you want to put the tree up? We do a little tree oh, because okay. of the animals. I had a moment the other day, and you'd be proud. Um, I was working in my garage, guys, one night. It was like eight o'clock at night. I had to do 12 swags for the bank, and so I laid them out in the garage to be easier. And all of a sudden, this cat came up. It was like this, uh, it was like a little kitten, not a kitten kitten, but you know when they're not fully grown. And it was this little orange cat, and it was just so friendly. Like, it was coming up and rubbing all up on me, and I was like, at the, you know, at, at first I was like, mm, not today, girl. But anyway, it kept coming, and y'all, I don't think they all know this cat. So, for 30 minutes, Josh was like, are you finished with the things? I'm like, well, I'm out here playing with this cat. So, anyway, um, it hasn't came back yet, but y'all, that cat was so cute. It was this little orange cat. The game was probably too good inside. But Josh would have killed me. Okay. So I've got my strips of ribbon. Here's what we're going to do. Grab you some wire. Okay? I've got some over here. Morgan says where? Huh? Morgan says where? Morgan, what are you talking about? Girl, we can't read your mind. Okay. Let's take this ribbon. And we're going to bunch it up together. We're going to make this just one loop. Okay? Just like so. Then you can take the floral wire, tie the wire around the ribbon. Okay? Now, on a artificial tree, I would not tie this on there. Um, I would just stick it in the tree. But because these branches are flimsy, you have to make sure we tie it on there. What time is it? 20 after. Ten. Ten twenty. Oh, okay. So we're gonna take this guys. I'm gonna start up here. You can't be saying stuff like that, you know, okay? I need to do full <laughs> reading. Okay. So we're gonna just incorporate this ribbon into the tree. And I think Mark's gonna stop by in a second, guys, because He's got a bunch of new stuff in the greenhouse. He's got like poinsettias and pansies in. That's what you put in the winter, right? Pansies? Okay. I get that continuous confused. Aren't they kind of similar? There's a, um, sort of, but not really. Okay, so that was no deal in there. Pansies are more flat and petunias are more tubed. Okay, but pansies can be in the freeze, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to send a continue going down to the tree. Tie your ribbon on. Julie, we're in Longview. 
And yes, it's cold. <laughs> it ain't here and it has a deep layer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that Mark? <laughs> okay, y'all. We're going to keep adding. Do you know if Texarkana has live trees? I believe all the stores do, guys. All the elements. Okay. You want to go all the way down the tree, guys. Just incorporating your ribbon here and there. Okay, let's take a poll, guys. I want to know if you have a real tree or an artificial tree. So leave a comment. Just say real or fake and let us know. What's Becca it says Beaumont? all stores except Beaumont. Oh, okay, guys. All stores except Beaumont have live trees. My brother has a live tree, and me and my mom have artificial ones because I can't be in the house long with them. Amy, I think it's just above freezing here, cold. I know, I get, it gives me headaches. Oh, really? My head stops up and I get headaches. And my eyes start watering and puffy and, oh, yeah. Oh, honey, we don't need that up in here, so they need to stay back. <laughs> a lot of artificial. A lot of artificial. I know a few people love their, their real trees, though. So for the top of the tree, guys, I'm going to, let me put these few pieces in right back here. Let's see if I can use this. We're going to tie a bow, okay, for the top. So. One reel. Do I? One, one reel. reel y'all. Uh, we're going to do about 12 inch loops or so, but you want to make sure you make your bow portion to the side of the tree. So this is four loops. We're gonna make a few more. Gotta grab some more ribbon. So if you guys started watching Christmas movies yet, I haven't had a minute to watch one. Hi, Teeny. Hey, girl. How are you? I haven't seen you in a second. Okay. I'm finishing off our bow, guys, for the top of the tree. There's a few more reels. My mom wanted a real tree, but she never made it over here to grab one at Ellis, so I'm supposed to do her tree today, and I think she's gonna go with a blocked tree, maybe. Amy always has real trees. Oh yeah? They go and cut them down. Okay, girl. I'm gonna get out there with a the saw. I can't be doing all that, I cut the leg off. Do the loops change depending on the size of the tree? Yes, you want to make sure your bow's proportion. So if you have a huge 12 foot tree, of course you're going to want to make bigger loops. If you have a 4 foot tree, you want to downsize to make sure that matches with that also. This has a nice boost. And hey, look at her. So we're going to tie this right around the top of that. I gotta look at my look. I'm look in there. Teeny says they keep trying to kill me, but I keep jumping back up. I know. Oh, that big old thing is sticking that girl. You can actually cut that a little bit, I think. I won't kill the tree, will it, Nina? What? <laughs> you cut this thing off. I have no clue. Okay, well, anyway, if you kill the tree, don't call me. Miracle Grow, maybe to bring it back. But you can cut that a little bit and put your star, your angel, something traditional on it. Okay, now we need ornaments, y'all. Is this a seven? You're six foot. I'm about six foot, right under. So, this is probably without that stem on there, it's about six foot, probably. Okay, so ornaments are my favorite part on a live tree. If I was to do a live tree at home, I would do everything vintage. I would throw icicles on there. No, I wouldn't feel that. But I would throw icicles on there. I would put bubble lights on there, colored lights, all that stuff. So we're gonna take our ornaments. These are cardinals because they match the theme, y'all. And we're really going to just go to town. And I'll wrap them around a little bit. Oh my, look at that tag. Look at that. It won't kill it. Somebody says they cut theirs off, put their star up. Good, okay. 
I mean, if I gave you all that tip and it killed your tree, y'all be calling me for a refund. And this ain't Coinstar, so I can't be doing that. Well, let's just add these little birds, honey. Put them all over. You can put any type of ornament that you love. But I love a cardinal, don't you, Nina? Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all a story real quick. I did this lady's tree the other day. And, girl, it was like the bird house over there. Okay, the bird cage. She had bird feeders galore, and there was like swarms of birds in the backyard. Like there's feathers all the ground. I thought that's how I'm gonna die today, birds. So she had this storage shed outside of like this garage, right to go get the ladder. And I went to get the ladder, and I, it was so heavy that I left the door. But I came back in, y'all. There was a cardinal in there trying to kill me. Okay, I was rolling around in the ground, ducking because the bird was flying down, scared me. I was screaming, and all of a sudden, this this whole time I had no idea. And that lady was standing right at the door. And me and Morgan, I mean, I was sitting there, we were screaming. So I'm really terrified of birds. Teeny was in Facebook jail again. Teeny, what did you do? Did you say something nasty? No one brought me cookies. Oh, my Lord. <clears throat> okay, add on the little cardinals. Now we have these. And I'm trying to use lightweight ornaments because of the tree branches. Oh, girl. So we're going to put these little signs on there now. Keep those on. And a little tip, guys. The Grinch. I know. When you get ready to put your ornaments on, I put them all on my finger and hold them. Have you watched the Grinch too? Yes. Have you seen that new cartoon version they put out last year? It's really cute. Mm -mm. You haven't? It's on Disney Plus. There's a um, Grinch musical coming out. Oh, really? Soon. No, this is a musical. No, it's the original. Oh, the cartoon. Yes. I love the dog. <laughs> Are you ready for the next one? Okay, y'all. So we're just going through adding in these ornaments. So when they get going on that sled and he looks to see where the dog is and the dog's sitting on the back looking at him with his tail wagging, that big old goofy smile. Uh -huh. I just love it. Look how cute that is, guys, with all of those ornaments on there. Okay. What I'm gonna do to finish this off is add a couple more of these slop sprays, and then we might have to go on a field trip because we gotta find more. So don't forget, y'all, everything Christmas-related, Christmas stuff, 50% off at ellishomeandgarden.com. It's 20% off today, your additional purchase, off your purchase. Uh, the travel tins, circle and candles, these are on sale for four bucks. So they're small. Put some else good, girl. You can take this to your hotel room, you know. Like I said, you got that uncle that blows it up, girl. Put one of these in their stocking. Four dollars, though, on the website. If you spend over 75 bucks, you get free shipping. Okay, grab a few more of these. I'm just doing this to fill in, y'all. And if you don't want that much flocking, you don't have to put it. 10.30. Do you still have your Grinch glass? Yes, of course, it's sitting on my counter right now. Not I still on my have counter because I don't want Josh to break it, but like up on the shelf. I still have my Eeyore. Yes. And my wine thing. I don't drink that or anything. I like it to look. Teeny asked, so... Yes, of course, girl. And I have the thing you have in me also on my built-in. It's a round Grinch hand thing. I have that too. All right. So you could totally do much more than this if you wanted to. You could add more components. You could add more ornaments. But this is for demo. I just wanted to give you guys an example of what it's like and what it looks like to decorate a live tree versus a real tree. So. While I continue talking and wrapping this up, I'm going to have Dina kind of zoom in. She's on a tripod, guys, so watch out. Um, she's going to show you all up close the tree and stuff like that. So let me give you a rundown while she's showing you guys. 50% off all Christmas on ellishomeandgarden.com. Today you can get 20% off um, of your purchase as well. You spend over 75 bucks, you get free shipping, which is amazing. I know you guys asked for that for a long time. And uh, they've got so much stuff. And again, they might not have these exact products just because the inventory levels change depending on what location we're at because of everyone shopping and getting ready to decorate their homes but if you can't find the exact thing that i used hopefully you can find something similar okay so i'm gonna have dina pick this up again we're gonna go on a, a little field trip really quick because mark wanted to tell you guys about a couple things in the greenhouse um poinsettias are here oh my god 
So, if you just lift that and fold it up, can you just leave it long? Mm -hmm. Okay, just don't pick it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So, it might be a little shaky for a second, but we're going to go on field trip. And yes, it's cold outside, but we're going to the greenhouse. So, hold on, not too bad. He was just here. We'll take our own porch. By the way, y'all, they're getting ready to do Christmas lights outside. We'll come through one night and show you. I want to come back when things calm down because they've decorated this place to the max, and I can't wait to show y'all everything. Okay, so we're in the greenhouse with no greenhouse person. But um, look at all the points that it's on. What are those white things? Are carnations? It's a top of. Why you showing them the mark, okay? Red. And there's Christmas cactus over there also. I love the Christmas cactus. Okay guys, I found Mark. He's gonna tell you guys about some of the stuff he's got coming in and all this stuff out here. Pardon me while I disenfranchise myself from partial. It's like taking a bra off, isn't it? Um, yes, as you've seen, we've, the greenhouse is full of poinsettias from little four and a half inch to one gallons. 8 inch uh, all the way up to the 10 inch and I'm getting actually uh, about 300 more today of all the same sizes. We still have lots of live Christmas trees um, going from $85 up to I believe $195. We've got live garland and live wreaths, about five choices on the wreaths and three styles of garland. And rosemary trees and lavender trees and rosemary plants, lavender plants, cyclamen, cyclamen, and more cyclamen. Uh, so we need little gardening needs, things you want to decorate the house with or for the holidays. Keep us in mind, do not be a stranger. Come out to us. I like the Christmas cactus. And the, I oh, I just hold this ivy too, that's pretty. Yeah, the little uh, wreath ivy with the poinsettia in the middle of it. Perfect. Yes. And I told him also, tonight, the Christmas thing opens, right? It is scheduled to, scheduled to open tonight, yes. Okay, cool. I will have to come back, guys, and do a little tour. Probably not tonight, but when I have a chance, so you can see all the lights and stuff. All right, thank you so much, Mark. You're welcome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget, Christmas 50% off. You can get 20% off your purchase tonight only on ellafamilygarden.com. Spend over $75, you get free shipping. And again, they have so much to offer on the website. Beautiful plants, beautiful poinsettias. Perfect to accent your home. Be careful with the poinsettias and your animals because I can't have any in my house because I heard they're poisonous. So anyway, Josh, don't be mad. Okay, guys. <laughs> well, I love you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And Dean and I will be back next Tuesday, 10 a.m. CST here at Ellis. And uh, before long, girl, we're going to be diving into Mardi Gras, which I can't wait. So um, we'll see you guys next week, Tuesday at 10 here at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, guys. Melissa, Rebecca will post a shopping list as soon as we're done. Yes. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all. Bye.